a lot of the schools here you find similar problems as you go to your school. It's usually a lack of resources or funding for teachers. But this school specifically, he said about 70% of the students here in Patois don't have birth certificates, so they can't attend school. So only about 30% of the, of the children population in Pitois is actually attending schools here, which is pretty concerning. So civil affairs at its basic level is we advise the commanders on all military things that are civil in nature. And whether it's government, the local population, institutions, economy, whatever, anything related to the civilian side or civil domain. Prior to even coming into country, we analyze regional socio-political climates. We study those things. We identify the vulnerabilities. So the water sources in the building. And then we come up with ways, uh, things that we can do to impact those in order to meet our commander's objectives. We're deterring Boko Haram from coming further south. We're enabling the local population and the host nation government and their militaries to fight Boko Haram on their own. So by doing that, it prevents U.S. military from having to get into a large-scale conflict, obviously. But more importantly, we're en enabling our African partners to be able to fight their own fights, not just against Boko Haram, but we're building and strengthening their institutions, their own government institutions and their militaries to, to f combat Boko Haram now, but whatever other threats that may arise either regionally or within the country later on.